First read. MSN. Outlook. More. Autos. My MSN. Video. Careers and jobs. Personals. Weather. Delish. Quotes. White pages. Games. Real estate. Wonderall. Horoscopes. Shopping. Yellow pages. Local edition. Traffic. Feedback. Maps and directions. Travel. Full MSN index. Bing. News.com. Today. Nightly news. Meet the press. Date line. MSNPC. Breaking news. Newsvine. Home. U.S. World. Politics. Business. Sports. Entertainment. Health. Tech. Science. Travel. Local. Weather. Advertise vertical bracket ad choices. Recommended, the week ahead, Obama to make the case on Syria. Recommended, first thoughts, Obama's top challenge ahead. Recommended, U.S. hopes half of G20 countries will support Syria action after summit. Recommended, first thoughts, wooing the left. Header point top underscore header left curly bracket background image. Earl HTTP slash slash CDN point lib point newsvine point com slash chrome slash first read slash images slash header point JPG equals 10,479 right curly bracket footer point links left curly bracket background image. Earl HTTP slash slash CDN point lib point newsvine point com slash chrome slash First read slash images slash footer point jpg right curly bracket. The first place for news and analysis from the NBC News Political Unit. Follow us on Twitter. About this blog archives. Email updates follow on Twitter. Subscribe to RSS. 18 hours ago. Betsy's Trivia, Russia edition. Number and politics number trivia. During the 74 U.S. Soviet summit, the Russians tried to censor at NBC and IGHTLY and BWS over coverage of what sensitive topic? Betsy Fisher Martin at BETSY and BC, September 6, 2014. At another tense time in American Russian relations, the summer of 1974, Journalists from all the major American television networks traveled to Moscow to cover a presidential summit, but Russia tried to censor the broadcasts they sent back to American audiences. The trip in June and July of 1974 marked the third in President Richard Nixon's series of talks with Soviet Union leader Leonid Brezhnev attempting to secure their mutual policy of detente. In July 2nd, NBC Nightly News anchor John Chancellor reported that Americans had in fact not been seeing the full coverage of the trip. Chancellor revealed that Russian authorities had been blocking American journalists' attempts to report on dissidents to the Soviet regime, particularly focusing on interviews or coverage of famous physicist and activist Andrei Sakharov. Chancellor played a striking series of videos showing how the network as reports looked as they came into America from Moscow throughout the day. Every time a correspondent mentioned Soviet dissidents, the satellite feed would go dark. The same thing happened when the journalists tried to report on the censorship. Chancellor grew clearly frustrated throughout the segment and ended with a blistering condemnation of the censorship. What it adds up to is that the Russians are delighted to get stories out in the summit, but any stories about life in their country that they don't e happen to agree with, we can't e report, and you can't e see. You can watch the full 1974 report in the clip above. And stay tuned for more NBC Politics Weekly Trivia from Betsy Fisher Martin at BETSY NBC Managing Editor of Political Programming. 26 comments. With the shoddy reporting being pumped out by Chucky T and Gotcha Gregory, wouldn't hurt my feelings if they attempted to censor what is passing as journalism with those two. Ever notice how the dynamic duo of deceit resort to the Mr. Obama mem, when President Obama won't play their wind. Show more.